Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss about the properties of definite integrals. First property, when we have integral a to the f of x dx, that can also be written as integral a to the f of t dt. Definite integrals are independent of variable. So, whatever in terms of x can be written in terms of t also. Second property, when we have integral a to the f of x dx, and when we interchange the limit from b to a, it will become minus times. So, integral a to b f of x dx is minus integral b to a f of x dx. Now, third property, when we have integral a to b f of x dx, suppose the limit is a to b something like this, and in between a and b, if we take some value c, then this integral from a to b f of x dx can be split into two parts. One is from a to c f of x dx plus other is c to b f of x dx. Then fourth property, when we have integral a to b f of x dx, it can also be written as integral a to b f of, we add the lower limit and upper limit together and minus x. So that is f of a plus b minus x. Integral a to b f of x dx is integral a to b f of a plus b minus x dx. Now, fifth property, it is the special case of the previous property. So, we have integral 0 to a f of x dx. In the previous case, we added the lower limit and upper limit, then we put minus x, that is a plus b minus x. So, here if I do so, adding lower limit and upper limit, we get 0 plus a, which is a. So, this will become integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Then we have next property. When the limit is from 0 to 2a f of x dx, this can be split into two parts. One part will have integral limit from 0 to a f of x dx and another part is also integral 0 is the limit but it is f of 2a minus x. So, when it is 0 to 2a, it is split into two parts. Both the limits are 0 to a but one function is f of x and another function is f of 2a minus x. Then seventh property, when we have integral 0 to 2a, f of x dx. It is again based on the previous property. Suppose if f of 2a minus x and f of x are equal, then these two will be added together and become twice integral 0 to a f of x dx. And suppose if f of 2a minus x is minus times of f of x, then when it becomes minus, both the term will get cancelled and become 0. So, this is having two value, either it is two times of integral 0 to f of x dx or it is 0, depends whether f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x or f of 2a minus x is equal to minus f of x. Next property, we have integral limit from minus a to a f of x dx and this value will be two times of integral 0 to a f of x dx if the function f is an even function. Even function is the one when x is replaced as minus x, again we get the same function, that is f of minus x is equal to f of x. In the same way, when integral minus a to a f of x dx is there, but the function is odd function, then the value is 0. Odd function is 1, when x is replaced as minus x in the function, we get negative times of the original function, that is f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. So these are the 8 properties of definite integrals and sometimes solving the definite integral problem will become easier when the properties are applied. So in the next video, we will discuss about the problems based on these properties of the definite integrals.